Hey guys, what is up, Loosely for Louis here, and welcome back to another video. And today, this is gonna be a Need for Speed 2015 video on uh, the next uh, car that we're gonna be building, which is the Toyota Sprinter GT Apex, which you guys can buy for 9,100 Need for Speed uh, credit thingies. So, uh, the uh, What's it called? The base model specs is 9.7 seconds, 0 to 100k, 17 seconds, quarter mile, top speed of 196, which is not bad, 122 horsepower, which is, it's alright, I guess. Okay, let's buy it. We've got 631,000. Actually, yesterday I just completed the uh, Outlaw. This is why I have this. Um... Okay, I've never customized this car, but uh, let, let's do it. So as usual, I'm just going to go through all the customization before I go over to the body kits. Okay, we just have a lot of uh, different front bumpers. Uh, can we remove it? No, we cannot. I think you can remove the rear bumper. I don't... Oh, yes, because these are pop-up headlights, of course. Okay, this car is way too high off the ground. Canards, of course, or canards if you're from the United Kingdom. Splitters, carbon fiber ones. I think I'll see what the body kits are. I think I might go with a body kit. I will see. Oh my god. I gotta stop having voice cracks, dude. Boys, big wang gang much. Could you put a bigger spoiler? Wait, where's the rear bumper at? So you can't... Ooh, yeah, right there. The N1 Toyota bumper. It, like, removes it. What else do we have? Um... Sorry if I keep touching my mic, guys. I'm just fucking doing random shit. Uh, diffuser... All the regular shit exhaust, it's all the different ones from Need for Speed. Sorry if this is a bit quick, I'm trying to make it short and sweet. Okay, now that that's all done, let's go see the body kit. Ooh, it like transforms the whole front end instead of pop-up headlights. Nah, you know what, I like pop-up headlights. So we're gonna do everything else that I wanted to do. Um, that one, or this one, yes, this one. I don't know why, I'm just a fan of pop-up headlights. Uh, taped headlights, yes, you won't be able to see them until we go outside. Splitter, these are all not available. Wait, is one of them available? No? This one. Um, can't. No, canards. Nah, mate. No canards. That's kind of disappointing. Okay, those. We want the bolt on ones. Uh, side skirts. I want big ones. I'm not a big fan of carbon fiber. I think one day I might make a car that's like only carbon fiber. Um, those ones, actually, I forgot to do the wing mirrors. Let's go with those. I don't know. They're very odd, but whatever. Diffuser. And that, that's kind of like a rear bumper. It's kind of odd, but... No. Do I really have to remove... Uh, where's the regular one? Whatever. It's kind of disappointing. Ooh, okay. Uh, what's the difference? Okay, I want that one. Because I really don't feel like going for the big wang gang. Uh, nice fat exhaust, you know what I mean? Um, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, let's change the window tint, black that shit out, 
and then the wheels and I will be back uh, with you guys in a bit okay guys so I think I found the ones the work emotion dr9 um at a primary color I don't go full black so that you guys can see them a bit none of that no uh, tire thingy tire lettering time I can't even remember just some red calipers ooh that looks clean yeah what were okay guys so we are back and now we're gonna adjust the stance yo we want that drop and we're definitely not gonna pull a T Martin so we want that shit as wide as possible actually a bit in bit of can actually a lot of camera a bit at the back I think we're gonna turn this in do a drift missile okay I'll be back with you guys once I have fully upgraded this so we are back and I fully upgraded it so 857 horsepower 373 kilometers an hour top speed 9.13 second quarter mile which is pretty good if I do say so myself and 2.19 seconds, 0 to 60, 0 to 200 kilometers an hour if you're from Canada like like me. Now that's that's a lot of power under a car from, let, let's see what year it's from. I just completely blanked. From 1986. I think some people call this the Toyota AE86, so let's, let's change the tune. No, I want to change some of this. Steer range, super wide, steer response a bit faster. Uh, off, we want to turn the assist off, launch control off, differential a bit more locked. Brake bias, uh, a bit towards the middle. Brake strength, actually a bit less. Tire traction less. Uh, nitrous power and I think I'm not gonna touch any of that other stuff mm, okay so the wrap I wanna see what people have made uh yeah I'm digging that I'm digging it what's this okay yeah what's this orange and green wheels no that no 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 Nah, okay, these are all gross. Okay, guys, so I think I have found the wrap that I want to just the white with the, the black on the arches. Actually, on that front arch, whoever made it was not that good. Okay, so I'll meet you guys back under the garage. Okay, guys, so we are back and uh, under the tunnel and look at those pop-up headlights taped to ooh that is clean in the rain too so I'm just gonna shut up so you guys can listen to this thing rev Oh my god, this thing is an absolute monster. It sounds amazing. Yeah, let's just go drift. Lol, I always forget that it's uh, standard. Oh, 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 not bad. I do have all the assists off, guys. That's not an excuse, actually, it is kind of an excuse, but whatever. Actually, we're gonna go back to the main spot that I like to drift, which is. Where is it? It's back by the garage. Seven and a half grand for the rev limiter. That's not bad. Eight gears. That's quite a lot. Yo, dude, I can't drive. What am I doing in my life? I love being ha having it standard, because then you can just pop it in third and just leave it there, like, the whole time. Oh my god, what am I doing? 
to be honest, I'm better when I have my C10 Skyline. Ooh, that was clean. Oh my god, yes, 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 yes. Car. Yo, ooh, tail tap that F1 shitty. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, I'm not kidding. If you have an F1 shitty, go kill yourself. No, I'm just kidding. No, but seriously, F1 shitties are bad. Okay, it's, it's good. But I may have to change the tune just a tad bit. It feels a bit sticky, and it feels like you really gotta... Like, you gotta really hold the brake to get her sideways. So, yeah. But after that, you just tap the brake a bit. The best uh, part, when the brake, L2 now, it's actually, like, just the brake. It's not, um, like, reverse back when it was automatic. I'm tail tapping everything right now. Okay, guys, I think we're, I'm going to end off the video here. So if you guys enjoyed this, don't forget to slap that like button and subscribe if you're new so that you don't miss any of my future videos. And until next time, peace and have a good one.